Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Take a look at this giant metal piece of garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you are having a fantastic, amazing, incredible day today. Dave K here today, so excited to share with you. Today is the day. It's moving day and I'm driving here. I am around the Villages, Florida area, recently passed that Villages sign and it's a little tricky some of the drivers out here on the road, but so excited to share with you the moving adventures. Yes, you loved it last time, moving from San Francisco to Florida, now leaving Florida, and I'm heading to Texas today for the moving adventure. If you have not already heard how it's going to go, then let me tell you how it's going to go. It's gonna go like this. If you have not already heard, then I will break down the plan for you specifically today. We are driving from the Orlando area all the way up to Pensacola, not just North Florida, but the Northwest edge of Florida. So we gonna be all the way up there, pretty much outside Florida, right next to Alabama. Last time I took the drive from, from Dallas area to Orlando, I stopped off in Mobile. But this time we are staying in Pensacola. I'm excited to check out that area very briefly, just tonight I'll get there. Looks like around five or 6 p.m. here. And that's right now, actually I may stop for some food and all that may take longer we shall see but I'm gonna stop off up in Pensacola and then I'm gonna stay there for the night then I will make my way up and onwards from Pensacola continuing actually mostly just onwards west to Houston and the traffic is tricky out here I gotta say so I will get to Houston Sunday night here and it will be a great set of weekend driving and I got some buddies in Houston I'm gonna meet up with I'm looking forward to catching up with them spending some time together hanging out for who knows how long. So uh, I'm gonna be in Houston, and it could be a couple of days, it could be like a week, and then I will make my way upwards to Dallas. It'll be anywhere between a few days to a week in Houston, and then I may take that following weekend, or I may take a weekday evening to drive from Houston to Dallas, because that's only a couple hour drive. So got my Airbnb tonight in Pensacola, got my Airbnb tomorrow in the Houston area, and then I will be moving up to Dallas about a few days to a week after that. So, I'm making the drive so far. Before long, we'll stop for gas, get some food. I don't think there should be too much exciting on this drive, but if I catch anything exciting, I will be sure to share it with you. I've been chatting with fam on the phone, so excited for this move. And as you can probably see, I would imagine you can see, that I have quite a few belongings with me. Yes, it's, it's uh, tricky to coordinate the move here, but it didn't really seem to make sense to me to, uh, to get movers, pack all this stuff up, considering what I was moving. Not a whole lot of stuff, so I've just got it here in the car with me. Quite a few things. Once I get up to Dallas, then we will be unloading the things, and I will have a lot less to worry about in terms of things being transported. So it's not uh, ideal, perfectly ideal, to have all the stuff in the car, but I've made sure it is not in the way, and all is good. So. Six hour drive today, get up to Pensacola. We're gonna show you the Airbnb probably, maybe some food along the way. Uh, there's Whataburger, which I'll probably stop for. And then we make our way onwards in one day from Northwest Florida all the way over to Texas. I'm excited to share it all with you and what the settling in looks like in Dallas. I am not quite sure what we'll do as soon as we get there. I was thinking about some pool stuff and all that, but it might be a little chilly. I mean, it is still uh, January here, mid-January, right? Yeah, I mean, it could definitely still be chilly. I think we're looking at the 40s right now, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm excited to at least get settled, move in, and share all that fun with you. We'll see what's in the year to come. I'm, I'm so excited because there's just so much opportunity in the world, in life, and we'll see what Dallas has to offer. I'm hoping to find some opportunities to grow my passion and entertainment, as well as to make some connections, meet some friends, and, you know, maybe find roles. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you along the way, food and Airbnb. Let's, let's just keep driving and then we'll do it. And the drive continues. As you can maybe see, the sun is peeking up around the corner here. Hopefully it warms up the day a little bit for us because it was chilly out there. Looking like a 52, as far as I can tell outside. And it's almost 2 p.m. here. Did stop off, get some gas and fill up the tank and, you know, stop and use the restroom. But uh, it seems it's quite a ways to Whataburger. I have decided, well, I may as well stop at Whataburger in Tallahassee for a quick meal today. And so, I'm one hour away still from Whataburger, even after going, I don't know, close to what, 300 miles so far, right? So, definitely a hike to make our way out of Florida, but we're getting there, and probably about halfway through my day as well. Just just, uh, just driving, chatting with peeps, listening to music, 
thinking through the life journey, what I want to do next, what my goals are, and looking forward to so much more fun to come. We'll see what comes up next, but yes, Whataburger sounds like a tasty lunch dunch kind of thing. Liner, you know, so we'll see how that goes. So I went ahead and got myself a sweet and spicy bacon burger from this fine Whataburger establishment. Nothing too unique, crazy, you've seen it before. And so I'm just gonna eat it and keep making my way and then we'll get to the Airbnb hopefully before long, you know, trying to, trying to make it during the daylight. So we'll keep at it. So I'm back on the road about 190 miles until I'm there, Pensacola. Sounds uh, good. And the sweet and spicy bacon burger is nicely done today. You got a good amount of that sauce and that cheese in there. Multiple cheeses, looks like a white and a, a yellow cheddar. You get both and the bacon. And the sweet and spicy sauce, I feel like is really what makes it. It's like a nice, uh, what is it, uh, zing to your flavor. So definitely enjoy that. So I haven't really done too much, but I was thinking about customizing it next time. Maybe you add avocado to it or something like that. And another thought is, should I try one of their salads? Because those look good too. Might be harder to eat those in the car, but someday if I go and stay for longer, sit down something, maybe I'll try a salad at Whataburger. Anyways, we are estimated to get there around 6 p.m. to Pensacola. So that should be nice. Looking forward to sharing that adventure with you and getting there too much before sunset. That'll be nice. So see how it goes and continue our adventure as we move. I forgot to take footage of the room before I moved all my stuff in. But this is what the room looks like. And yeah, it should be good overall. We're going to be good with all our stuff and we'll make our way onwards early in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to day two here. About to hit the road again shortly. I have loaded the car back up. You know, it was one of the big things that was worrisome for me at first. It was kind of stressful was uh, reloading everything and unloading all my things at night. You know, I wanted to make sure the car is secure, but fortunately, you know, it all worked out smoothly and it was not as big of an issue as I initially thought. So something important to remember in life, right? That you just have to take step by step and day by day and not let things get to you as you can. But I'm glad I managed to load it all up. We're back up. And I think my visibility is, if not the same, maybe even better. Maybe I can fix that little back section right there. Um, but yeah, pretty good overall. And we're about to make our way to get some breakfast. Right now I'm defrosting the front windshield because it is that level of cold outside. Yes, I am um, here in Pensacola. It looks like it was freezing last night. So I'm beginning to defrost that front windshield. You can see, um, yeah, it's mixed in terms of the chilliness. I think I will probably just grab some quick road food as well. Some maybe some McDonald's or some Whataburger car breakfast as I hit the road because it's like an eight hour drive or so for me to get to Houston. So I'll be stopping in an Airbnb tonight in Houston. I'm looking forward to that, especially since there's a garage I'm told that I can use in that one. So I won't necessarily, I think, need to unload my car, but we'll see. Another fun day of driving. I was up really early. I didn't realize Pensacola's in central time. So I was up at something like what I thought was like 6.45. Turned out it was like 5.45. We are rolling on our way here, but I've got to say that breakfast burger from Whataburger, it, it's got to get a shout out. I didn't see it on the menu. And I remember loving it last time, even more than the honey butter chicken biscuit. So I asked them if they had it. They said they did. And it seems like it's a little more expensive than some of the other breakfast options, but I love that one. You know, with the egg and the cheese and the bacon, and you've got the burger in there, the patty. But the sauce, I feel like it's really making it today. Not sure if it's like a, perhaps a, like a Thousand Island almost. A little bit of tang to it, a sweetness, but also like a tart. So, so good. Definitely a worthwhile stop. And I got the meal. That way I figured I can get the coffee and the hash browns. I don't have to stop for coffee anywhere else because it's cold. It's cold outside. Making our way onwards and we will be on the highway soon, rolling down to Houston. I stopped off here in Lafayette in Louisiana for some lunches today. And I don't really need those. And I got Subway. Subway was okay, it was not bad. I got the steak and cheese because I had a deal for $5.99 any foot long. So I got the steak and cheese, haven't tried it, figured I'd give it a shot. It's okay, I don't love how it's seasoned, honestly. I, I definitely don't hate uh, sticking with my usuals. So in case you haven't tried it, like the cold cut combos and all that. Personally, to me, I'm just as happy with those. Maybe it was just uh, not as much sauce as I'm used to. Overall though, not bad is food, Subway. You know, I got it right here so you can see it. And I am making my way onwards. I will see you in Houston. We are, what is it, three and a half hours away now. So we're getting close. Er, <laughs> let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we enter the great state of Texas. Welcome to Texas. We just crossed the line right there. It's a Texas state line, Orange County. I think that's what it said. So, so excited to be back in Texas. 
We've got about two hours left on our drive here, and we will see you in Houston real soon. Welcome to Texas, says my GPS as well. I love it. So nice to see. Uh, really interesting stop back here with the gas stations and all that. Uh, yeah, unique area with the, the like casinos and like you can get drinks to go, <laughs> like daiquiris. I would imagine in like to go cups, like styrofoam with the tape on it, and the lid. I remember that back in the day in Texas too. So super funny to see that right on the edge there before you enter Texas. And now we are off the next two hours. We will see you in Houston before you know it. Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly the Texas way. I like that. And take a look here at my Airbnb in Houston. It's great, great place. Really, really nice. Host allowed me to use the garage to park my car and to plug in in the garage as well, which is great. So I got the car charging out there. Nice, good size bed here. I like this headlamp light. Nice quote here. Take as many vacations as you can. Go as many places you can always make more money. Can't make more memories. There you go. Can't always make more memories. But it'd be beautiful to see this room here. Overall, really, really nice spot. Glad I'm staying in this one. Again, really, really great friendly people. And looking forward to seeing how the adventure unfolds here in Houston. Planning to get together with some friends, but we'll see how that goes. I believe, you know, there is some illness going around. So we'll see, um, see what happens on that front. Maybe a uh, quicker visit to Houston than we might have thought. But looking forward to sharing all the fun ahead, whatever it might be. So I was feeling like something leaner. I was starting to feel heavy from all the food I've eaten the past few days. Stop by Smoothie King myself for breakfast here. I got a strawberry gladiator with bananas and kale and it didn't quite work out <laughs> the way I wanted. I was thinking something veggie, but they didn't have a lot of protein in them. And so I figured I'd do it this way. I think next time maybe I'll stick with just like the, I want to try the mango kale next time, I think, if I want a veggie one. So something to think about for the future. Looking at some shops out here. Maybe I'll check out Burlington. I'm waiting for GameStop to open in a bit see what that looks like but for now just hanging out and today for lunch in the woodlands i'm told atsumi sushi here is a great one so i'm gonna drop in atsumi sushi see how that goes on this sort of outdoor mall strip area it's nice nice still coordinating the uh plants my friend unfortunate here it's a it's a, a time where a lot of people are getting ill i think too so sorry to hear about that and let us go check this one out. We'll let you know what we think. Take a look around Atsumi Sushi here. You can see nice aesthetic here. It's quiet shop and a variety of selections. I was thinking about maybe grabbing some tea. I've heard my friend mention this was a great place to check out. So looking through a variety of selections here and we'll see what sounds good today. Let's dig in. Starting off with miso soup here. I got the lunch sushi special here with the couple different rolls, dynamite and crunch, but here's the hot tea, jasmine and the soup here. It's not bad. It's not a bad spot, um, but yeah, I, I don't see myself coming back this far. It's an interesting flavor to the water. Not my favorite and, and not my favorite miso all time either, but we'll see how the sushi does. And here they are. You've got the dynamite roll and the crunch roll right there. Nice little plates here for lunch. This was in like 12 bucks or so, so not bad. And then there's like a couple bucks for tea. Uh, we'll, we'll dig in let you know what we think about you know, it seems pretty standard to me. So the sushi was, was okay. You know, it was really interesting. They did things like the dynamite roll with chicken. <laughs> Wouldn't have expected that. Maybe they had some challenges uh, with business in the past couple of years. And so they were just kind of making it by here. But yeah, I can't say Atsumi is one I'll be back to, but glad I had the chance to check it out. Now again, seeking to coordinate what the plans are. Uh, maybe adjusting my trip in the coming days. Maybe in terms of going to Dallas sooner and reducing the time in Houston here if we're not gonna get together. TBD, we'll find out here uh, shortly. But overall, when I had the chance to try some food, share it with you, and just appreciate life and all the adventures that it brings us. And the time has come to make our way from Houston to Dallas. It was fun-filled time, it was a couple of days. Got to spend some time with a couple of friends in the area, enjoy some food and some meals. Didn't go exactly as planned. You know, spent some time here longer in the Airbnb than anticipated and I'm gonna be heading up there this evening to Dallas. So I've got some work to get done. I'm gonna be focusing on getting that done. We did enjoy some torchies though. Always love some torchies and a couple of other spots. Nothing too notable. I'm gonna make my way up to Dallas this evening and check in to my final Airbnb up there before I settle in the Dallas area for a bit. So excited to share the continuation, the grand finale of this adventure with you. So we make our last part of the drive. <laughs> I'm sure my car is ready to be unloaded, or at least I'm ready to unload all the stuff in my car 
and to be able to actually figure out where all my stuff is, like jeans instead of sweatpants. So that'll be nice. Making our way upwards this evening, let us make our way somewhere like now. Our stop off for lunch today is Chick-fil-A. Take a look at this, I got a large lemonade and I'm trying the spicy Southwest salad here. That'll be nice to have, give it a shot, let you know what we think. So the salad from Chick-fil-A was, was okay. It was not bad. I think probably try another salad in the future, different one from somewhere else. I feel like if you're going to Chick-fil-A, you, you got to get, you know, one of those delicious nuggets. Oh my gosh, I love all the different fried chicken styles there. So yeah, salad was all right. Um, maybe I'll try their other one another time, but I want to try Whataburger salad <laughs> at some point. Regardless, we are making our way onwards. So excited to make my way up to Dallas. Maybe we'll stop by a Starbucks here or there. And looking forward to sharing the Dallas adventures with you so soon. Let's do it. So I'm on this long drive and it feels so good, so exciting to make my way onwards. As you can envision, plenty of open road, plenty of this two lane open country stuff going on here, but nice, peaceful in terms of pretty quiet in terms of traffic, nice sunny day, enjoying the warm vibes and looking forward to the Texas adventures ahead. Okay, so I am back on the road. Unfortunately, I stopped off in Streetman because I heard something dragging, it sounded like. And the engine plate under my car must have hit something. It wasn't resecured properly because it was hanging by like one bolt. So it was a pretty expensive service fee to get the thing replaced. It was not even replaced, they just removed it. They're like, oh yeah, my car doesn't have one of these. You, you don't need it, it's fine. And they just took it off and I'm carrying that thing around for a couple hundred bucks. But live and learn and also, you know, it could have been worse. So I feel very fortunate to have made it through with no major issues. Just a reminder on making the most, right, of every situation. Uh, it was a couple hundred bucks and not fun to have issues, but again, could have been so much worse. So making our way onwards, like an hour and a half or so now, but it's definitely gonna be a little darker by the time I get there. But I'm gonna hopefully unload my stuff this evening and I gotta get some food and all that good stuff and hopefully I'll be able to get that new part like that somewhere else before too long. But car troubles slow me down a bit, but I'm still chugging along, almost to Dallas. So I have made it to my Airbnb in the Dallas area in North Dallas. I think it's Frisco, technically. Take a look around, really, really nice room. Don't know if you heard the news about my car, if you could see me in the car, uh, it was dark in there. So I'm gonna tell you the whole car issue story. Um, a lot of work to be done there, unfortunately, ahead as well as I've already paid for. But uh, take a look around the room first and then we'll get you a new battery, bring my stuff in and tell you about that. Let's do it. So take a look at the front entrance here. It really is a nice room overall. I've got my stuff down for now in this little chair, but I've got that chair. I've got this desk right here. This nice window view. Here is my bed. It looks like a queen type, full type. And you have your little sink area here and it's a Jack and Jill style bath. So really, really cool. I always have this awesome sink area, which is perfect for if you're getting ready in the morning, whatever it might be. You know, I can brush my teeth here and all that jazz. So that's nice to have. Uh, only thing with the bathroom and the shower is, is it's shared, uh, but I think there's another toilet if I need to use one somewhere as well. So definitely really nice in terms of kind of how I've been staying Airbnbs with the shared bath concept. I like this a lot where you don't have to share the sink. So very, very nice. I'm gonna grab my stuff. And then I'm gonna tell you about the car because you're gonna need a new battery. Um, yeah, let me do that. Well, I'll get you started on the car story. So I was driving along and thought everything was great, everything was fine. Went over a few bumps, you know, I was going pretty fast, you know, 70 plus uh, driving up the speed limit, it's like 75 for miles, for like hours up from Houston and went over a few bumps and I'd hear some scrape. And I'd hear a scrape over another big bump and just cause the road is very up and down, it's very bumpy. And I went over one bump and then the scraping happened and just kept happening, it was all the way along and it was concerning, so pulled over, took a look, and saw this metal piece. I think it's called the splash guard or the engine uh, panel, engine plate, was not fully attached. It was sort of lie, like scraping across the ground. It became pretty damaged. Uh, so I secured it somewhat slightly. I stopped off at a gas station in Exxon in Streetman, Texas, and asked if they had a mechanic. They said no, but I called up a place that was like 15 minutes away. I said that yes, that I would pay them to come down and help me 
fix the issue. They wound up telling me that, you know, it was just for protection purposes and that I could drive the rest of the way without it. So they took it off and then I paid like $300 uh, for that service call as well as that work. So I wasn't thrilled with that overall and I still need to replace the splash guard engine plate. I wish that I didn't have to do all that, but you know, I feel like I did the best I could with the situation. And it's all about looking for the silver lining. You know, it could have been so much worse. I feel so fortunate that it wasn't anything worse. And I feel super fortunate that I haven't run into any other big issues. You know, there've been no accidents or anything like that, which again, yeah, I'm gonna knock on whatever material I can find here to appreciate that, find some, find some wood somewhere and make over to that door. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not fun to deal with, but it, it speaks to that same point, right? Of like looking for the silver lining in everything you do. So helped me, you know, as I thought about it, like, you know, appreciate that in the grand scheme, yeah, it was a few hundred bucks and <laughs> was not really looking for that expense right now, especially to now go get another plate to have to replace it. But um, is what it is. And so now I'm gonna go bring in my things. I'm gonna be in the Airbnb for a few weeks. I'll probably show you the plate. And otherwise I will be um, take, taking a couple of weeks here to settle. And it seems like I'm being delayed in terms of my move and all that. So I'm gonna be in the Airbnb, work out a lot of things before I move into my new place. So this is the first main stop for a while in Dallas area. Really, really glad to be here. So excited to share the adventures with you and keep your eyes open for what's to come. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Take a look at this giant metal piece of garbage right here. So this is it. This is the one, in case you were wondering, that is what was scraping against the ground while I was driving my car. What I was told is it destroyed. Is that under vehicle, uh, what do you call it? The splash guard or the engine plate or whatever it is. I, that is the piece. Again, I heard the scraping in the Streetman, Texas area. It was about an hour outside of town. And at first pulled over, it was, uh, I tried to get off the highway because I was scraping all along the highway. Pulled off to a side road, eventually found a little side road where it was quiet enough for me to get out and push the edge, the right edge of that splash guard up into that opening that the splash guard left behind so that it wouldn't be scraping. And I took that to a gas station about a mile and a half away, called the service people, and they gave me two options. And they said, either we can come to you and charge you about $100 service fee to come out to you, as well as at least two hours of time, versus you can come to us and then you just pay about $100 per hour of time. And I elected to have them come to me because I didn't know what the issue was. It was a 15-minute drive to get to the service place, and I would have had to take the highway, so I didn't want to continue to damage or potentially further impact worsely my vehicle, but they just wound up removing the part. I was hoping they would help me re-secure it or something, but that's how it shook out. They're like, yeah, you don't need this part. Just take it off, you know? And if you want to get a new one, you buy it online and go to a mechanic because a dealer will charge you too much is pretty much what they said. So felt like I spent too much money to get not very much done, but that's how it goes. Again, always looking for the silver lining, but I wasn't looking for exactly this silver lining, not like the actual physical silver lining. Just looking for the silver lining in like my day-to-day -day activities. So look for the silver lining in everything you do. Thanks for being a part of it. Looking forward to sharing more real soon. Oh, so would you say I destroyed my car on this trip? I mean, it's definitely a seven, several hundred dollar expense and it's gonna be another several hundred dollars to replace, which I'm not thrilled with, but only slightly destroyed my car with the splash plate this time around. And and they believe it could have been the installation from last time I got my oil changed. So I have to call that dealer too. Oh my gosh, we have made it to Dallas. What's to come next? I have no idea, but thank you so much as always for being a part of the adventures with me. Um, glad to be here. And again, looking forward to sharing all of the fun ahead with you, but in the meantime, don't forget to make it an amazing day. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures coming your way. Until next time, play on.